Hey guys, welcome back. So this week, as we have been for the last couple weeks and for probably the next couple weeks at least, we are working on siding. So we've gotten two of three cants that we had ready to go milled up and that is over there so that is going to be the first thing we're going to work on this week get that done get that milled into our tapered clapboard siding and then after that we're going to start working on cutting this stuff to length so that it matches up to where our posts and studs are then if we have any extra time which i hopefully will uh, we can start working on putting some more of it up on our walls but first let's get this stuff out of the way this is some stuff that's already milled up get that moved out of here so we can get our next cant up on the mill Okay, so first off, we're going to take the chainsaw and we're going to cut off this section of it right here because there's not really anything in there that's usable. We've got this kind of weird rotten section in here from where it split. So we might be able to get a couple boards out of that that would be full length, but it's just, it's not worth messing with it. And now we're going to make one pass along here on the top to get this nice and flat all the way across here because we don't have quite a perfect 90 on this cant. So we'll make one pass on here, then we'll flip it 180 and get our spacer. Well, actually, before we flip it 180, put our spacer on there, then we can flip it and then we can start milling siding off from it. Alright, we've got our camp milled up into siding, we got a new 2x4 cut up and ready to go upstairs so that we can finish reframing that one window in. And so now we are ready to start cutting some of this stuff to length. So I did manage to uh, commandeer a miter saw, so we got that here in the truck so let's get that pulled out.
Okay, well I'm starting to have problems seeing my marks, so I think that means that it's time to stop for the day. We got almost all of it cut to length, which is really good because it would have taken probably three times longer to do that with using the circle saw instead of the miter saw. So that's really awesome. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we got done. We still have two more little stacks left to go. That's probably only gonna take another 15 minutes or so, but we just don't have the light to finish that today. So we'll pack up our stuff for today, but we'll bring this back out tomorrow so that we can finish off these last few boards left to do. And then I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to get a good start on putting some of this siding up on the mill house here. All right, day two. So to start off today, we are gonna work on these two stacks of boards and getting these guys cut to length for what we can get out of them. So with those all cut to length, we are going to start hanging some of this stuff up now. And first off, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more runs over here so that way we can get this kind of lower section finished off up until that cross piece. And then we're going to switch over to the other end and we're going to start putting some up on this side right here. Now the reason for that is that we're storing some of our boards over here that are the right length for our upper siding because as you recall the upper studs are not spaced the same as the lower ones. So these are the right length for the upper studs so we aren't needing them quite yet. So just to kind of keep them flat we're storing them right over here and if we put up siding on this wall over here that's going to help to block a lot of the sun that comes through here because this is the south side so we're going to start putting up some siding over here to kind of get those into the shade hopefully it'll help them keep a little bit longer less likely to warp and twist until we can get them hooked up on the shed and the reason that we aren't continuing on around this corner is because of these guys right here. These are logs that we're gonna be using for siding. And I figure why move them? They're gonna get milled up here in the near future anyway. So we'll just wait till these guys are milled and moved out of the way and then we can put stuff over on this end. Now it's time to get something to stand on so that we can get the rest of the way up through here. this section done we're just gonna swing right around the corner and start working on this area
Okay, well we're just over halfway done on this side and we're just about completely out of light for today. So this is all we'll get done for today. All right, so I was hoping to make it out to do one more day of work out here for this week's video. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this week up. Next week, we'll just continue on where we left off, putting up the rest of the siding over here on the end and then doing some more milling for siding. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. And my camera is out of focus. That means it's getting too dark. It doesn't like it. Oh well.